Hi, welcome back to the Cozy Sound Channel and the latest in my Little Boxes series, The Dead Zone Drone. I had an idea for a drone based on one of the articles in the Hackaday Logic Noise series. A particular article we'll have a look at in a little bit more detail in a moment. Um, but basically, it's a pair of square wave oscillators that are then hard synced so that you get a kind of a timbral modulation. But what I wanted to do was use two pairs. So we've got one hard sync pair here, another hard sync pair down this side, and then the two are mixed together to give a, a single output of a drone. So there's like four oscillators in the drone, but as two pairs. It'll become clearer when we have a look at the circuit. Um, why dead zone? Well, the way that the hard syncing works means that as you sweep through the frequencies, uh, you hit points where they essentially cancel out and you get no output, dead spots, or if you like, dead zones within the frequency range, hence dead zone. And of course, it's Halloween season, so my local craft shop is full of little coffin-shaped boxes. So it would have been rude not to join in, wouldn't it? And hence we have the Dead Zone Drone Coffin Box. What I'm going to do in this video is have a look at the circuit. I'll look at the circuit diagram as a strip board layout and then how it all goes together. And then having done that, we'll turn it on and have a listen to what the Dead Zone Drone sounds like in action. We'll start by looking at where the original circuit came from. So this is the Hackaday website um, with the Logic Noise by Elliot Williams. The link is down in the description so you can go and follow that. The square wave oscillator uses the 4106 chip which is a hex inverter so you could actually build six oscillators if you really wanted to from the one chip. That's what the basic oscillator looks like. A really really simple an inverter, a potentiometer and a capacitor. Um, so the capacitor kind of sets the frequency range and the potentiometer sweeps through that frequency range. I'll scroll past all of this, you can go and read this for yourselves. This is a bit that we're interested in for our drone, is the timbral modulation, which uses, as I mentioned earlier, these are hard synced oscillators. So it's two of the basic oscillators and the hard sync bit is the output of one is fed to the input of the other via a diode and a resistor. This is a oscilloscope trace showing what the outputs look like. So you can see there's, there's kind of a, a bit of a synchronization between the two and then you've got the modulation going on. I'm not going to go into detail explaining all about hard syncing and how it all works. Uh, it's explained very well in this article so you can go and follow that through. Uh, it also explains about the fact that when um, the frequencies of these two get close that you actually get zero output so you get the dead zones which is what I mentioned earlier that gave the name to the little box. Okay, talking of little box, how did I put that together? This is my version of the circuit. Here we have one hard synced oscillator pair. Here we have another hard synced oscillator pair. I they all use the same potentiometers, they've all got 100k potentiometers. But what I've done is I've changed the frequency range over which they operate. So this top one 
has got 330 nanofarad capacitors in there um, that sets that frequency range. It's actually going to be a fairly low frequency range. That's what I was aiming for with this drone, was some, some low frequencies. And going even lower for this oscillator, I'm using one microfarad capacitors. On this diagram, they're shown as polarized, so it'll be electrolytics. Um, when you actually see the circuit, I've, I've actually used some one microfarad polybox, which are not polarized but they still work perfectly well. Either way, it will work. Um, and then to get the drone side of it, I've passively mixed the output of the two synced oscillators via these 100K resistors, so they go to a common output. On the original circuit, they were using signal diodes uh, for the hard syncing but I wanted some visual element to my little box so I've replaced the signal diodes with red LEDs. The circuit diagram and my strip board layout I'll put them in the Cuzzy Sound Dropbox and Again, down in the description, you will find a link where you can download those. This is the strip board layout. Um, very simple, very few components. Don't forget the trace cuts next to the diodes here. Um, but yeah, very, very simple, very straightforward. Uh, I have got a switch there and then that will go off to a battery clip as you will see in the actual circuit so that was a switch it go, just goes off to the to the battery clip um, the LEDs although they appear to be sitting on the um, circuit here they're actually attached with flying leads so I can poke them through the top of the box because when I put it in the box it looks like this so there are the diodes that's back of the pots the output right circuit board you can see there I've actually used polybox rather than electrolytics either way it'll work on top of the box, as you <laughs> come on, as you saw briefly in the introduction, actually looks like this. So there's the LEDs. So that's one hard sync pair. That's the other hard sync pair, and then they are combined via those resistors and come out of the output here. And there's a simple on-off switch. There's no power LED um, because as soon as you put the power on, these will light up anyway. So you know that that the power's there. And that's the Dead Zone drone, all nicely fitted in its little coffin-shaped box, thanks to it being Halloween season and uh, my local craft shop having stocked up on these. Couldn't really miss it, could I? Right, let's go and listen to what it sounds like. I'm starting with the output from Dead Zone just going you can't see it in this close up but it's it's just going in to the mixer input on project 12 and then out through the uh, audio desk to be recorded um, so let's turn up a bit of volume on dead zone so what we've got if you can hear me above the uh, drone. So this oscillator is modulating with this one. There you go, that's the dead, one of the dead zones. Head cut out there.
of course this one is modulating with this one and there's another dead zone And that's a, a nice demonstration of what I was saying about going for uh, low frequency droning. You know, it's low frequency, I don't know whether the uh, video camera is picking it up, but um, the, the LED is actually uh, flashing away there. Here, keep hitting those uh, aforementioned dead zones. So if I put a little bit of ambience on this, what's that? Oh, that's uh, I think that's that's reverb. Maybe a little bit of delay. I think. Okay, what I let it down a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'll break through my uh, patch point changer, um, so I can just simply switch it through, and it's I'm going to switch it into um, a ladder filter, uh, a low pass filter. For some. <laughs> Yeah, I've not got the volume turned up on that particular patch. Let's let's try that again, shall we? If you've listened to my stuff before, you'll know that not only do I particularly like a, a nice drone, I'm also uh, got a particular sweet spot for a, a really good filter sweep.
think we've had a little bit more to the spookiness there. And another dead zone. play around for hours, but you probably don't want to listen to that. But hopefully it's given you a, a bit of an idea of some of the things that, that you can do if you build your own Dead Zone drone. There it is, the Little Boxer's Dead Zone drone. Nice gritty output from that, I, I quite like that. I've given you everything you need. You've got a circuit diagram, you've got a strip board layout, very few components, fairly simple circuit. So if you fancy your own dead zone drone, then go on, have a go, build your own. But before you run off to do that, having got some success with this, I've actually started working on a module version of this which will end up in project 12 modular synth the module version will have a couple of more extra features i'm just finishing putting the finishing touches to the circuit together and actually building uh, a version to my own instructions to make sure that my own instructions are actually correct and when i give you the circuit and the strip board layout it will work but I'm pretty close to completing that. So when I've done that, I will make another build video. But this time around, it will be for the Project 12 Dead Zone drone. So, yeah. If you want to run off and build this now, then go ahead. This little nice 9 volt standalone drone. Or if you want to have a Dead Zone drone in your own modular setup, then come back. Because in the not too distant future, I will be doing a build video on the Project 12 Dead Zone Drone.